Hi and welcome to Mural Dreams by Laura. I'm Laura and this video is a time lapse of the latest mural that I completed this week at the Poke Puri restaurant in Philadelphia, which will be opening for the public in early February of 2021. I started working on the design in December, and the actual mural painting was completed in the first half of January 2021, over the course of 6 days. I would estimate the actual painting time to be around 45 hours or so. This is the first of two really fun projects. I've been inspired by the Great Wave of Kanagawa, the original painting by the great Japanese painter Hokusai for a while now, so I was thrilled by the opportunity to have the satisfaction of replicating the fractal-like patterns of the waves and the sea foam myself. Not only that, but I was also very eager to try a new brand of mural paint that I recently purchased from Chroma brand. This multi purpose acrylic paint is water resistant, moisture resistant and light fast and it's ideal for mural art. It comes in a variety of bright, mixable, opaque colors. It lays down and blends in smoothly. It's truly a pleasure to work with. I purchased all of the colors that they offer in the 16 ounce jars and also the neon and glow-in-the-dark markers because I also gave the mural neon and glow-in-the-dark accents. I only ended up using the neutral glow-in-the-dark marker for the white part of the mountain as the tips of the markers are actually too thick to make small, fine lines with them. I left links to all of the paints and supplies that I used down in the description so you can give them a try if you're interested. I also tested the Tri-Art Blacklight poster paint as it was easier to lay down with a brush in the tight spaces and apply more smoothly. For the ultramarine blue of the wave, I used the Pebeo Matte Ultramarine Blue, which is a vibrant, highly concentrated paint. And I used nearly the whole 16 ounce jar for the wave, and I already ordered another tub for my future cosmic art canvases. I can't wait to use that paint again. For the red fluorescent accents, I used the fluorescent red from the acrylic because I already had it at home and I applied it on the cherry blossoms, the sun, the bowls and other red elements. The cats were so much fun to paint too. I've done something here that's different from all of my previous works some chibi art that's totally up my bongo kitten Sally. She loved this. And now I think she would want this in her room. <laughs> and you know what? I kinda love how it came out too. I look forward to them having the black light installed so it can be enjoyed in all of its glory. Please like this video if you're enjoying it, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay until the end to see the finished result. Make sure you have the notifications on because the second mural is already in the works. So stay tuned and as always, trust the flow, my dear friend.
Oh, and you know what? Stay tuned for the next one.